Hi. Okay. It's Friday. It's actually Friday afternoon. I'm getting quite late in the afternoon. I am so tired. Oh, good. The AC just turned off. <laughs> it's 81 outside, so I've put the AC on. We all know I don't like the heat. <laughs> Had a meeting on Zoom at noon that went until 3. So I am now massively behind schedule, but it ended up being a really good discussion and I'm glad I stayed on the call because it was kind of needed. But yeah, I'm just not in the best mood right now. <laughs> and it's late and I'm tired and I still have more work to do. I need to at least get through my emails. Um, every student who's emailed me today, I want to make sure I respond to. It's Friday. It's been a long week. I'm ready to just be done with work and not think about any of it. I'm not sure how much book work I'm going to get done today. I did get one chapter copy edited this morning. I was really ambitious and thought I was going to do three yesterday and three today. And I'd be at chapter, you know, six, you know, finishing up chapter six by now and it's not going to happen. So that's a little frustrating. It, I'll get caught up. I'll, I just realized I think I need to plan on doing more on the weekends than I do during the week, um, at least to start with. But as of today, because of last night, how much work I did last night, which you'll have seen at the very end of the last vlog, I'm up to 83,000 words in independent hearts. So... I'm really close to being done with that one. And the outline for Across the Pond is in really good shape. I honestly can just start writing it now, which is about two weeks earlier than planned. The copy editing is gonna go fine. So I think I'll probably still do some writing tonight because even though I can't bear to not do any writing. I'm also probably just going to let myself do the bare minimum today. I've been do. I'm so far ahead of schedule now with the writing that Scrivener is telling me I only have to write like 870 something words a day to meet my goal by the deadline. So I probably will finish early. So I think I can dial back on those on Across the Pond and Independent Hearts and focus this weekend on copy editing and just getting that pushed along. Um, but I'm realizing I can really only copy edit like one chapter at a time. I'm trying, I'd like to for next week get into a habit of like one chapter in the morning before I start working and then one chapter in the early evening and then maybe one chapter before bed or something. So I just find I need to space them out a little bit. If I copy edit for too long at a time, it just does my head in. So anyway, I need to get to work and I want to get through my inbox, respond to all of my students who've emailed me today, and then there's some stuff that has been turned in late. So I just want to go get caught up on everything that has been turned in that's already been due. I'm not going to start grading stuff that has been turned in early though. I'll do that next week. And want to be done with teaching work by five o'clock because I really just want to stop for the day and relax at five. I poured myself a cup of cold, it's, I would say iced, but there's no ice in it, but it's essentially iced coffee. So I'm gonna drink that and stop procrastivlogging and get to my email. And I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow because I just feel like I am not that coherent right now.
Hi, welcome to Sunday. No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, starting over. Hi, welcome. And the AC just turned off. Okay, <laughs> take two. Hi, welcome to Saturday, not Sunday. Don't scare yourself like that, Andrea. Saturday. It's Saturday. It is a bright, clear sky Saturday. Oh, I can see the moon already. It's 79 degrees outside. It is about quarter after one. I have had an exceptionally lazy Saturday so far. I didn't intend to, but it's just going to be one of those days. I stayed up too late last night. First, because I was watching the Pharaoh vs. Allen docuseries on HBO Max, which, oh my gosh, it's so intense, and it does get into details, and so it, it would be very triggering for some people, but it was so well done, and I've always believed Mia Farrow and Dylan Farrow, but watching all of the evidence that they present and showing how things had been twisted over the years by the press, by publicists, by Alan himself, it's just so sad that people still don't believe her and that people still prop him up as this cinematic genius. I've never really liked his films, never really gotten his comedy, but yeah, it, it was really, really well done. So if you can handle watching documentaries about cases um, related to abuse, it's worth watching. Then after that, I needed something to just not have that be on my mind when I went to bed. So I switched over to Netflix and started watching, oh, what's it called? The Lost Pirate Kingdom or The Last Pirate Kingdom? It's the new docu-series on Netflix about the pirates of the Caribbean, kind of the truth behind the legend. And it's a combination of dramatized reenactments with historians and experts like talking about it like a documentary. I, I thought it was going to be cheesy, but it's actually really well done. So I think there's eight episodes of that and I watched two of them. So there's another series I want to watch, but that might have to be pushed to next weekend because I don't know that I'll have time to get through both of them this weekend. Because um, I also want to do a lot of reading this weekend, and today is already half gone. I need to do a lot of copy editing as well. I need to try to copy edit at least three chapters today. But I also want to read. I need to finish the Pride and Prejudice and Other Flavors book. I've got two and a half hours left in that book. Um, and then I already have another book lined up. I still need to make some food <laughs> and make some coffee because I ended up not waking up. I forgot to finish my story. My brain is just, yeah. I didn't wake up until about noon. I woke up at seven with a blinding headache. So I woke up at seven, got my ice pack, my ice gel pack from the freezer, opened up all of the windows to let some more cool air in, went back and laid back down, fell back asleep, woke up at like nine, because I felt like it's probably time to close the windows and turn the AC on. So I did that and thought, I'm just going to lay back down for like 30 more minutes. I even got my iPad and put that in bed because I thought I'd sit up and start reading after 30 minutes. And no, I just fell right back to sleep. That headache just knocked everything out of me. And then 12 o'clock rolled around. It was like, I really need to get out of bed. So finally managed to drag myself out of bed at a little bit after 12 and then have just been doing odd bits around the apartment trying to get my day going but still need still need to eat so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get on with my day see how much work I can get done and I will check with you guys later
and welcome to Sunday. Today is Sunday, not yesterday, like I thought. <laughs> it's noon, or just about noon. I did manage to wake up earlier today, which is great, but I'm only just now kind of getting to sit down and read because first there was a Whole Foods delivery order to be placed, and then I wanted to get my vlog footage imported and just get everything lined up in iMovie to see what I was dealing with because I need to edit that later today. I strung up the new string lights that came in from Amazon yesterday because my old ones, one of them had died a while ago. This one here had just started randomly blinking one day and so I was like, okay, well that's not going to work. And then these ones the ones over the fireplace started randomly blinking one day so I decided to just order some new ones because it's not focusing it's not wanting to focus I decided to get some new ones because I don't like not having fairy lights there it is a beautiful day but it's warm again it's only in the 70s at the moment um, but it, yeah 71 but it is going up to I know you guys love the weather checks here um, 75 so not as warm and tomorrow 73 and then Tuesday and Wednesday 66 and 68 so but then by the end by the weekend back up to 79 and then 84 and 82 so we're getting a few random nice days thrown into the mix and even 80s aren't bad it's just too high to have my to not have my air conditioning on so yeah, so the AC can come off tomorrow. I've copy edited one chapter. I did that while footage was importing for the vlog and then finished that after the footage got imported and I got everything set up in iMovie. So I need to do two more chapters. So that won't be too bad. I'll do that later. But now I just want to make some coffee, make some food, some lunch at this point. And get back to reading. I'm a few chapters into The Perfect Guests, I think it's called, by Emma Roos. I love her writing so much. I loved The Au Pair, which was her first novel. So this one, the second novel, just came out not that long ago. I think it came out like around the holidays, and so I was too busy reading Christmas books, but um, it, it went on my list of books to read, so I'm reading it now, and I'm really enjoying it. It's so far set between two different points of view, one in 1988 and one in like 2019, like present present day ish. So that's exciting. Um, I love back and forth books like that. I love mysteries and, and she does a pretty good job. I mean, the au pair was really good. I'm excited to dive in. I want to just sit down and like read this all in one sitting. So I've got less than three hours. So um, if I can get breakfast made really quick and sit back down to read, it means I should be done by around 3.30 ish. And then I can have the rest of the afternoon to edit the vlog and copy edit more than fate and maybe do some other stuff. I have finished the Pirate's lost kingdom or whatever it's called on netflix I ended up finishing it last night i think there must have only been six episodes i thought there were eight but yeah it was it was really good i thought it was really interesting um so not sure what i'm gonna watch tonight um i don't know that i want to start a whole new series that i can't like binge <laughs> over the course of a weekend so there's another series i want to watch but i might save that for next weekend so we will see. But I'm editing out so many yawns, so I clearly need to go get some coffee and some food and then just settle back in to read. And I will check with you guys later today.
lovely people. It is now Sunday evening. It is just about 6.30. I have finished copy editing for the day, which is great. I got three more chapters done, so I will start chapter 10 tomorrow. So I'm not quite halfway through, but I'm getting there. And if I do two a day during the week, so that'd be 10 and 11 on Monday, 12 and 13 on Tuesday, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 by Friday, then I could do 21, 22, and 23, 24 in the epilogue on Saturday and Sunday. Technically I've got until the 31st, so it also gives me some wiggle room if there's a day where I only do one chapter or a day where I don't do any. I'm I'm in a good I'm in a good spot. Managing to do three chapters yesterday and today has put me in a good position to not have to do three chapters <laughs> in a day going forward even next weekend. So that is really good. Um, and so far it's working out to do it on my laptop. I just, obviously I can't show you because it would show you the screen, but on Scrivener I just have each chapter's in its own file like I do for all my books. And um, within each chapter I've got it set to double spaced and I've put it up to like 150% as like the screen size so it's really big on the screen. I can really only see like I'd say 8 to 10 lines at a time and so it lets me really take it in small chunks. The other thing I've been doing is reading aloud. The hard part about copy editing, whether it's on screen or on um, hard copy paper, you can't skim when you copy edit because if you skim you'll miss stuff and so reading out loud helps when I'm feeling a little bit tired because it makes sure that I don't skim. So I've been <laughs> not so much speaking out loud but just kind of speaking under my breath like almost like whispering but reading each word you know more or less out loud not reading it completely in my head silently. So that's helped. And then also splitting it up. So I did one chapter earlier today and then I did two chapters back to back. I can kind of do two chapters back to back, but if I do more than two chapters in a day, I've got to break it up somehow. So yeah. It's been a very relaxing day. I finished the book I was reading. So in this vlog, the two books that I read. One of them I started last week and last weekend and then was reading it throughout the week and then still had about half of it um, to read on yesterday on Saturday. So that was Pride and Prejudice and Other Flavors and that's by Sonali Dev. Oh my gosh. Whether you like Jane Austen or not, I'd highly recommend that book. It is a play on Pride and Prejudice, but she manages to modernize Jane Austen in a way that just made it really original and so I just absolutely loved it. Um, the next one is kind of a play on persuasion it sounds like. Let me see if I can pull that up. Recipe for Persuasion is the second book in the series and then Incense and Sensibility is the third book. And Persuasion and Sense and Sensibility are my two most favorite Jane Austen novels. I, I want to read more. I've got so many books to read, but I think this summer, when I have more time to read, I'll probably go back to some of these series that I've started and like just binge the rest of the series. So I think I'll try to find a time this summer to read Recipe for Persuasion and Incense and Sensibility back to back because I just absolutely loved it. And I, if you've never read Pride and Prejudice, you don't need to be familiar with that story. If you've never read Jane Austen's novel or seen any of the various film adaptations, if you've never really felt like you're, you know, that interested in Jane Austen, I'd still give the book a try because it is 
kind of a very modern and original take on those themes. But if you do like Jane Austen, and if you're a fan of kind of any twist on Jane Austen, definitely check it out. And then the book that I was that I started last night and finished today was The Perfect Guests by Emma Roos. And oh my god, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it even more than I loved the au pair, and I really loved the au pair. Emma is just such a brilliant writer for thrillers. Thrillers are hard. Mystery, suspense, thrillers are really difficult. Um, they can be done really, really poorly. <laughs> really poorly. Um, and I've read a lot of really bad <laughs> thrillers in my time. So I'm always looking for a really good mystery thriller like what's gonna happen what's the big secret what's the big reveal can I guess it or not and this one not only kept me guessing but I'm I'm it's been a few hours now and I'm still thinking about it like I don't want to give anything away you can look at the book description but I just found it gripping like I said I read about three chapters of it last night and then I still had the majority of it to read today and I read it in one sitting. Um, I got up a couple times to get a drink or a snack but I pretty much stayed in my chair and read that book in one sitting and it took me about three hours and a bit. <sighs> I'm still thinking about it. I just... yeah. It was so good. <laughs> so good. Easily a five star um, rating on that one. Emma is definitely a very gifted writer, particularly for this genre. If you like something that is a bit moody and set in a mysterious house out in the kind of British countryside, but not it's not too creepy and it's not scary. It's just the mystery is really, really good. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I don't want to spoil it, but oh, yeah, loved it. So would highly, highly, highly recommend that book. I've now started reading um, Lies We Bury by Elmar, which is also a second novel from a relatively new author. Um, I read her book, The Missing Sister, last year sometime, and I know I mentioned it or reviewed it on this channel. So her second book just came out, and I'm really looking forward um, to reading that. So I've got a couple books in the library that I know are going to come up available at some point this week. So I figured um, I would read Lies We Bury really quick before those come available. I did buy a book and it arrived yesterday. Um, I got this one, The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner, which I mean, how stunning is this cover? I just... It's a nice hardcover. So yeah, I'm looking forward to diving into this one. It just, a friend sent me the the link to it, the description, and I read it. And yeah, hidden in the depths of 18th century London, a secret apothecary shop caters to an unusual kind of clientele. 200 years later, aspiring historian Carolyn Parswell discovers an aged apothecary vial in the River Thames. I just, this sounds like my kind of book, but this sounds like one that I want to sit and devour in like one or two days on the weekend, so I don't really want to start it on a Sunday night. Yeah, I'm gonna let that one sit for just a little while, and then once I get through these next couple library books, I think I'll dive into that one. So there's your little book chat for this vlog, where we're at with the books. As always, I'm updating everything on Goodreads. I've got such a love-hate relationship with this website, but it is great for tracking what I'm reading, so I have been keeping that updated and keeping an eye on my reading challenge. I am currently... I have read 27 out of 81 books for 2021, so I feel like I am well ahead of schedule. I kind of feel like I'm probably going to end up reading closer to 100 books by the end of the year. We'll see how how far beyond the 81 books I get as far as my reading goal um, goes. So, our hookah question for the vlog. 
what brand are you loyal to simply out of habit and not because of its quality? I thought that was a really interesting question. I mean, the brand I'm loyal to both out of habit but also because of quality is my skincare brand, Eminence. I have raved about that brand from the beginning of this channel and I have tried other skincare brands. There are other brands and other products that aren't Eminence that I do really like, but I always come back to Eminence. But that's out of both habit and out of quality. So simply out of habit, it's so not so much product, but just like stores, Whole Foods. There, You can get quality food at other grocery stores. Just Whole Foods is kind of habit. That is probably one that's more out of habit than because they're necessarily the best place to go. They're certainly not the cheapest, but it's just kind of become the habit to shop at Whole Foods. So I would love to know, is there a brand that you are loyal to more out of habit than because of quality? I think that would be really interesting. Say hi in the comments, I will reply eventually. Um, give the vlog a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not subscribed, all of that good stuff. I am now going to go grate up some cheese and have my chili because it has been simmering for quite a while now. Thank you for watching this vlog and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.